Nathan. And um, when we talked before, we talked about um, how Nathan uh, got a, it was like the last three, four years they've gotten characters drawn by you. And like my daughter has one of uh, her and her, her cat, I think, her dog. And uh, Peter, my son, who loves baseball, has a picture of, of him in his baseball uniform and basketball, or in, in base bat, in the bat. Oh, I'm having a hard time talking here. And <laughs> Nathan, you drew a picture of him in, in an, uh, with an art easel and uh, the little the little cap. Is it, well, what's, what's the name of that cap for the, for the artist? Probably a beret. Okay, a beret with a little... Um, paintbrush in his hand so he, he always he cherishes that he thinks it's great so we got those up on the on the wall in the house you know and that's nice to hear yeah it, it, well, like, it's neat because you know the kids the kids get to be in the cartoon character what they want to be when they grow up so yeah, i think it was kind of nice kind of nice so you offer that service and, you, and you're going to be all around west michigan this year right well yes yeah, starting the 10th of june i'll be at malali park with the lions spring fling okay and then in the coming weeks there's an art fair down in Spring Lake, and uh, oh, Father's Day weekend, Whitehall, Montague. Working too much. And then, of course, our own Muskegon summer celebration around the Fourth of July. And right. Then I go down as far as Holland and up north as far as Ludington. Now, is it, weekend is, after weekend, different it, shows. Is the summer celebration like the last, the last hurrah one, or is that uh, like the end of summer? Or is that the last? Oh time? no, this is the big one, at the Fourth of July downtown, Henry yeah. Park. Yeah, I know, but I mean, is that like the last one in the summer that you do, or do you do oh, no, all year round? Oh, that, there are shows in Holland, North Muskegon, oh, really? Wellington. So you do them all year round? Well, all through the summer. Oh, okay, all right. And yeah. in the fall, there's a few indoor shows that I go to. Okay. Other than that, I draw at parties, sometimes Christmas parties. Oh, really? Now, now what, well, how would you do that now? What do you do? Just You're just there to, to draw for different people for the, for the party itself, or what? Well, on a few occasions, I've been asked by some local company who's sponsoring a Christmas party to, to be part of the entertainment for the night and it's always turned out nice we'll be down at uh, one of the fancy restaurants downtown you know where they have their Christmas party and I often get paid plus have a delicious dinner oh okay <laughs> it's a pretty good occupation yeah, that yeah. Sort of that's kind of like when we DJ on the weekend I do the same thing it's sort mm-hmm. of but a uh, different type of entertainment now, how entertaining as far as what do you do you draw, you draw different pictures of the different people that are there or what I just take my clipboard along, my pens and paper, and draw pen and ink sketches of just their faces, usually. Mm-hmm. Usually 8 by 10 in size, sometimes 5 by 7. Oh, really? And uh, just look at a person in 5, 6, 7, 8 minutes, depending on how curly the hair is, uh, <laughs> there's a caricature. Oh, okay. You know, you could probably do uh, like, a, like a wedding or something and just sit there and do a bunch of caricature drawings at the wedding ceremony. Well, I haven't been invited to a wedding, <laughs> there but you I've go. been to family reunions. You could try it. You never know. And uh, summer picnics and so forth. Okay, so you're going to be all around West Michigan, and uh, so you got to look for Lee, Lee Suko, who's going to be up there and uh, uh, drawing the caricature drawings. Um, and he, you've got, uh, you basically have a, a really nice display to uh, attract attention to yourself, right? Well, I try to have Folks should be able to find me this year because I'm purchasing a brand new roof or top for my canopy. It's supposed to be bright yellow. Okay. And a banner, uh, advertising banner, that's going to be bright orange with yellow letters all over it. So I think it'll kind of glow. I'm hoping to be noticeable. Okay, so you're going to stick out. You're going to stick out. Yeah. It, you've got, I, you know, I love your cards because every year you, put, you, you make a different card. When you run out oh. of cards, you, you make new cards, right? Well, I hand out the business card with with every drawing and to whoever would like one and so they, they get used up pretty fast. It doesn't take long to get rid of a thousand right. business cards when, uh, when you're in 10, 12 shows a summer. Yeah, well you've got, you've got uh, uh, United States sitting here with a smile on its face. <laughs> oh, well that's, that's the logo for our national caricature, caricature network. network. Yeah, okay. A nationwide group of caricature drawers. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, so you do picnics, parties, conventions, cartoons. Um, Graduation parties. Oh, in fact, next Wednesday evening I'll be drawing for some young people whose parents are keeping them in overnight at one of those lock-ins. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, after graduation, so right. they go running around on the streets. Okay. And uh, they have all sorts of entertainment planned. I'm part of it. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. So they can, they can get caricatures and stuff of, of them while, while, they're, while they're there. So That's the idea. Oh, okay. You can draw them in uh, <laughs> with a little teddy bear or something, right? Oh, good. <laughs> What's nice about caricaturing is that it applies to so many different sorts of situations and you know, all kinds of 
people just like drawings like that, you know. Right. Well, it is because you can like like I was uh, like I say you can make them look like uh, the people they want to be, or dress them up to the people they want to be, or as something you know totally you know that they <laughs> never would want to be, but uh, you can make them look that way. You know, just out of caricature anyway. So. I was just making things a little more so, just a little exaggerated, you know. Yeah. Ladies get worried sometimes, but I tell them, well, that just makes I just make the beautiful girls a little more so, you know. So don't worry. It yeah, you know. All for the best. Okay, so you, you're trying to tell me that if you drew a caricature of me, I could actually look handsome? Oh, you'd be more so than whatever you are right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to come see you. If I ever if I ever need a drawing of myself, I'll come and see you, Lee, okay? okay. Oh, that'd be fine. Be happy to have you. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for talking with me again. Well, I'm and glad, glad we could talk together, too, Oscar. And, and like I say, everybody can look for Lee out there. You'll be drawing away. You have your, you'll be with your easel. Pen and ink, pastel chalk, charcoal, go. pencil, black and white, colored, you know, full color, yeah. whatever. Okay. Uh, whatever the market desires. All right. And so we'll look for you uh, the next time. The first time to see you will be when? Oh, I guess it's uh, June 10th. In the Spring Fling thing? Mulally Park out in the Reese Buffer District. Okay. So we'll be looking for you. All right. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye.